Greetings and salutations. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. You're watching Raven Review. I'm your host, Raven. Today we're going to be talking about book two of Chuck Wendig's Star Wars Aftermath, Life Debt. So, um, if you guys didn't like the little subplot kind of things in the last Aftermath book, um, that is definitely prevalent in this book. Uh, there's a bunch of little subplot kind of short stories in this book. I'm not covering those short stories in this review, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up uh, that that is still in this book. Um, I know some people didn't like it, and if you didn't like it in the last book, you're probably not going to like it in this book. So, um, yeah, just to let you guys know. But I am going to be talking about the main story. Um, so the main story basically starts off as uh, the same group, Nora's um, little band of misfits, I guess you could call them. Uh, Tim is still there. Uh, we also have Mr. Bones. We have Sajir. Uh, we have the bounty hunter, which I apologize. I always forget her name. And then we have this new guy named John, who is just, he's Mr. Cop, believes in the law kind of thing. Um, that's that's his character. Um, so, basically, Leia hires them to go find Han Solo, because he's been missing. He went to go rescue the Wookiees with Chewie. Um and eventually they do go and find Han Solo. And that story is just amazing in itself. Uh, it's just, it's worth the book itself, I think. Um, then they also find out that they have captured some other rebels and put them like in sort of like a coma state. Um, and that's where Gallius Rex's plot thickens who we find out galia rex is at the end of aftermath um and he's actually the one pulling all the strings and ray sloan who's grand admiral sloan by this point um thinks that they're actually working really well with one another in hopes of destroying uh the rebel forces so um in this group of people that have been captured that are in like this weird coma state that they find is Brenton uh, Wexley, which is Nora's husband. And uh, they bring, like I said, they bring everybody home. They rebelliate them and stuff like that. Um, and that's where Gallius's real plot comes in. He has brainwashed all these people to basically commit this mass like suicide murder plot in order assassination kind of thing in order to take out uh moth mothra and mostly moth mothra and a couple of other people um brenton is like absolutely distraught that he's willing to do this he joins forces with uh ray sloan but not before nora absolutely like she like yeah, there's a fight there with with Nora and 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 Sloane, and it's a good fight. <laughs> I like that fight. Uh, I mean, they get their ass. She Sloane gets her ass handed to her. It's a good fight. Um, don't get me wrong. I love Sloane. I I think I would love to see her translated onto film at some point. Um, but yeah, Nora just. Go Nora. Um, but with that said, though, Sloan is not happy with how Gallius Rex has done this plot. Um, so she kind of chases after him to his home world, which is uh, Jakku. And um, Nora, like Nora is she goes after she wants to rescue her husband 
because she thinks that her husband's still being brainwashed by Sloan. Uh, takes the whole group with her, uh, Mr. Bones and Timon and all of them. Takes, they all go um, to Jakku, and that's pretty much where the book ends. Um, if I get into a little bit more into it, it's kind of going into spoilatory, and I don't really want to do that with you guys. So uh, just because it's it's a really good book. And I don't want to ruin too much of Star Wars. Star Wars, I don't really, I don't, I don't like ruin Star Wars for you guys. So, um, as far as my rating goes for this book, I'm gonna rate it as. Math. That, um, just because it, it's a good Star Wars book. It's not like like the most amazing star wars book it's it's a sub story if you guys don't really want to read it you don't have to read it i've been enjoying all the star wars books because i've been reading them all uh but definitely i would definitely check it out uh if you are a star wars fan and you do like the star wars novels this is definitely a good read um it gets a little bit more intense i think than the last book the last book was okay um it was good um, but this one gets a little bit more, it gives you a little bit more meat and potatoes kind of story. So, um, yeah, definitely, um, much better as far as writing goes. The, the book is just a lot more intense. So there you go. Um, I'll be covering also Empire's End, which is the last book. And I will talk to you guys all later. So have a great day. And like always, don't forget to give someone a hug. It may change their day, it may change their life. And yeah, talk to you all later. Bye. Thank you for watching Raven Review. Please remember to push the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you know when a new video has been posted. Also don't forget to like or dislike the video you just watched. Then you can be a awesome person by sharing this video with all your friends on your social media networks. Have an awesome-tastic day and thanks for watching.